Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sasha and yes, the quality of this video, the sound, all of it is not what you're used to seeing here on my channel. So anytime I want to film guide videos, uh, they are quite long typically. So I do need to use my laptop webcam in order to capture the whole thing in one take. And that's what we're doing today. Before we get started, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe here on my channel and my videos. I would really appreciate it. Also, uh, check out the links below if you get a second. Uh, there's links to my Etsy shop where I make K-pop inspired bracelets, Polaroids, and also paintings. Uh, and I would love for you to just go check it out. That would be awesome. Today, we are doing a helpful guide to Icon 2021 by Confire TV. Um, this was just at the top of the list when I looked for guide videos. If you have a suggestion of a different one I should watch, please let me know the title and creator of that video in the comments below. If you leave me a link to a video, more than likely YouTube will delete your comment and I will never see it. Um, but if you leave me the title and the name of the channel, then I can find it myself and we can go through it. Um, I just figured this one had a good number of views, it is the most recent one I could find, and it's only 19 minutes long, which means this won't be a super long video, which is fantastic for both of us. So we are going to get started. As most of you know if you're here, I have found Icon through Kingdom. Um, I've reacted to Rhythm Ta music video and dance practice. I just did, what video did I film today? Oh, I just did Killing Me, the music video and dance practice today. I don't know what will come out first, the guide video we're watching now or the uh, analysis video. Who knows? But yes, I'm excited to watch. The only member whose name I know is Bobby. So let's just get started. This is edited so far. This is Icon. Woo. Icon debuted the 15th of September in 2015. Wow. They're under YG Entertainment. Their story begins in 2013 with a survival show win. Who is next? Where Icon, Marlon, Chanson, exited as Team B, but they lost to teammates, so their debut was pushed back. In 2014, they participated in another survival show, Mix and Match where three new trainees joined the group and half of Team B had to compete against them and each other for the last four spots in Icon. Thankfully Icon debuted with the original Team B members and Chan Wu. Icon's fandom is called Iconics and their live stick is called Condon. Icon stands at for such produced photography and great live performances. That's cool. Wow. We heard that on Kingdom, the uh, theater mix of it. Let's get to know the members. Kim Jin Won was born on February 7, 1994. He is a main vocalist and lead dancer. He is the oldest member. He joined White 94 is their oldest member? He has a great voice and he is very safe. 
94 is their oldest member. Oh my god. Nice, nice. <gasps> cool. We have an ad. Don't you just love ads? Yeah, I love them. Ads help creators. Just keep that in mind. Ads help creators most of the time. Unless the video is copyrighted, then the ad helps the artist. This came out of nowhere. Oh my god, I was getting into that. I missed what they said about the brother thing. Lots of that too. He is multilingual. Besides Korean, he can speak fluent Japanese, English, Chinese, and Filipino. He gets teased by the members despite being the oldest. Heart shaped mole. He is the shortest. Excuse me. It's been a long day. Bobby or Kim Ji Won was born on December 21st, 1995. Okay. He's a main rapper, a songwriter, and vocalist. He was born in South Korea but had to emigrate to the U.S. with his family when he was a kid. Oh. He grew up in Virginia until he auditioned for YG in New York at 15 years old. Wow. When he moved back to Korea on his own. He joined YG a week after J. In 2014, he won Show Me the Money 3. I knew that. He was the youngest winner to date at 18 and the first and only idol rapper to win the show. He Sick. was still a trainee. Still a trainee? I didn't know that! Oh my god! Shut up! What? Oh my gosh! solo track pull up in 2016 as part of the subunit Mob with Nino. I love when they growl when they rap. Oh my god. Ooh, they keep cutting it when it goes so good. Copyright Association. He wrote and composed all the songs of his two solo albums, Love and Fall and Lucky Man. He featured in the Rise remix for the game League of Legends and has collaborated with multiple artists. That's like cool. Sai, Sai, Lehigh, Doki, Gaga, and more. Wow. He is a softie. He has a Winnie the Pooh plushie that he treasures since he was born. Has several tattoos. He loves sneakers. Sometimes he becomes the main vocalist. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! 
We have another ad. And skip. That was nice. Song Yun Yong was born on February 8th, 1995. He is a vocalist, visual and liver. He joined YG on April 2012. He originally wanted to be an actor. He <laughs> has great vocals and he is often in charge of the high notes. Ooh, that run. He is a great dancer. This dance. This dance. Oh, nice. He is very hardworking and improved a lot during his trainee years. Takes care of everyone. Gets teased by the members. <laughs> he enjoys working out. He loves cooking. He has a YouTube channel, Song Chillin' Guide. He uploads cooking videos, ate as my mustangs and vlogs. I need to follow that. Teach me how to cook better. I don't cook at all. <laughs> I'm so bad. I just burn everything. It's inedible. I'm terrible at cooking. It's so bad. It's so bad. I think he's my favorite. I haven't for sure decided. I think he's my favorite. Kujun Wei was born on March 31st, 1997. He is a main vocalist. The 97s, man! They attack me so hard all the time! Freaking 97, what happened in that year? He participated in K-pop star, but he is an amazing vocalist. He has a very unique husky voice. Wow. He has like a rock voice. My hair is too tight. It's giving me a headache. Oh. Be the vocalist of a rock band. Yes! See, I just said that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh. He enjoys writing poems and Aww. wants to publish a poetry book someday. Has participated on some icon songs as composer or lyricist. 
Deep Night featuring Bobby is his first official song as the main composer and lyricist. Wow. He uploads self-composed songs and covers to Instagram. Sometimes he does very random stuff that makes iconics question everything. <coughs> he is loud. He enjoys working out as much as he enjoys drinking. He likes Bob Dylan's music. Oh yeah, I can see that influence for sure. <laughs> DK was born on January 3rd, 1997. He is the main dancer, a vocalist, and a songwriter. He passed the auditions for all the big three companies. Good for him. He won JYP training competition. He joined YG in November 2012. He is an amazing dancer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, another commercial. Na 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 na. Another commercial. We're back. Okay. Ooh, I love that. Ooh, 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 ooh. He has collaborated with dancers like Ken Jazz. <gasps> has he really? I love them. Ah. Uh. Ooh, I have to find this video. Uh -huh. I love them. Choreograph for Icon has the vocals of an angel. His falsetto. Wow. He is credited for several songs. His first official song as main lyricist and composer is Flower, included in Icon's mini album I Decide. He is a social butterfly and iconic sunshine. He was a top student and class president. Oh, nice Best fashion. He is great with kids. He can rap. <laughs> They keep cutting it off right when I'm vibing. That's so rude. Chan Roy Yoon Chan Woo was born on January 26, 1998. He is a vocalist, actor, tutor. He is the youngest member. He joined YG in mid 2014. Wow. After joining YG, he was in Fantasio. He was a child actor and participated in several dramas and movies Boys Over Flowers, The Heirs, Cain and Abel, The Great King Sejong, Gotti, and more. He joined the group through Mix and Match. He has beautiful vocals. <laughs> He 
doesn't have many lines, but he always makes his lines iconic. Another ad. His members a lot despite being the Skip. I said skip. Okay. He had to distract to his members. Stop it. He silently takes care of his members too. He takes a logical approach to things. Loves video games. Has a Fortnite skin inspired by him. Loves scenario in an emote. Loves baseball. He is an LG Twins fan. He has a YouTube channel, Chan Woozuri. He uploads videos about gaming, sports, pranks, vlogs, and random stuff. <laughs> I love when you can see how idols are just like normal people. It's my favorite thing about K-pop. Like, is their life normal? No. But these videos, it's just like a normal kid. Oh, it says pause if you need to. I have not paused. It's so small. Uh, I'll go back and read it later. I did not see what that said. Okay, that's the end. Let's pause this. Oh shoot, I keep missing it. Hold on. He's no longer a member of Icon since 2019. However, he was Icon's main songwriter since before their debut. And most of the songs released by the group until 2020 were composed by him, including the massive hit song Love Scenario. He was awarded in 2018 Songwriter of the Year Award, becoming the first and only member of an idol group to do so and the youngest winner to date. He is a full member of KOMCA and has 65 plus credits to his name. He also has composed written songs for other artists like Blackpink, Epic High, Psy, Winner, etc. He is currently a, an executive director at IOK Company and is signed as an artist under his own company, 131 Label. His career as a soloist has been on hiatus since June 2019. But he featured recently on Epic High's acceptance speech included in their album Epic High is Here Part 1. He also part posts demos on SoundCloud. Okay, so they had another member and he is no longer part of Icon. Uh, I remember you guys telling me that in some of my Kingdom videos. So interesting to read a little bit more about it in this video. And that, my friends, is the conclusion of the guide that I chose to watch. Uh, what did you think of the guide? Do you think I need to watch more to learn more about the members? Not gonna lie, the names did not stick in my brain whatsoever. It takes normally about like a month for me to learn a new group and all of their names. So, um, hopefully by like, at least by July, I should have more of the members' names memorized and that will be so fun. Because then during reactions I can be like, so-and-so just did that move as center and it was great, but instead of so-and-so, I'll say one of their names. So anyway, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!